I'm terrified of this. I literally left Lowe's today because I couldn't find a plunger and I was too afraid to talk to people. Hold on, I gotta find this. So I didn't write anything. I just compiled some stuff that I wanted to say. Um, I've never done anything vocally on stage before. So. Um, I call this piece, I don't want to die, I just don't want to be alive. I've never done this before. I don't know why I'm here. Like I said, I didn't write anything. I did, but I can't remember it. So I'll pretend I know how to read. I walked out of the store empty handed because I was too scared to talk to people. Um, I don't know how many people are in here, but I see two of all of you. I don't know if I'm drunk or if they botched my LASIK up. I can't see and I didn't ask to be here. Alive and everything. I've done this a dozen times and I still don't know why I'm here. I'm Eric. I'm an alcoholic. I was introduced to a band called Crippling Alcoholism and I can't get out of the thought of it. It's everything I've ever wanted. The following is a piece about lies. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. No matter how much I say it, I don't love it. I will weep when I hear your voice again. I forgot you were alive, but I smelled you when I came in. Friend to friend and nothing else, stop the combat of everything. Screeching tires and straining steel didn't change me. Wrecking my car with my child inside open containers on the passenger side floor, and they let me go. Why did they let me go? Why was I granted that miracle? Nonetheless, I cannot stop getting fucked up. I'm cracking up. I'm afraid to move a muscle. Staying perpetuates, leaving perpetuates. I'm not for us, and neither of us will become us under force. I'm terrified to be up here, and I won't lie, I take nervous poops. I've been so disassociated that I forgot to take a shit before this. Permission restriction of myself, I guess. I guess I'll start the poem now. <laughs> My hands are inside out, double jointed, disorienting, on my knees, drinking in the closet, driving down the road. I left to save her from my destruction. I want to do the same to you, but I cannot say the words. I black out every time I'm honest. I don't know how to read. My heartburn is crippling. I think too much about breathing. What else do you want to know about me? I want to change my name so I can go away forever. Don't settle for better. Settle for satisfaction. I am happy. Happy that I totaled my car. Happy that I passed out drunk at work and got suspended. Happy that I took too much of a car payment and it's going to get repossessed. Happy that I can't afford a place to live. Happy that I'm off the rails, waking up shaking from the withdrawals of alcohol and drugs. I'm weak. I'm happy that I'm weak. 
I'm happy that my ex-wife wants me to see my son less. I'm happy that I'm 10 hours that I'm sleeping 10 hours a day because I'm too depressed to lift my head. I'm happy I can't eat because I can't open my eyes enough to find the food. I'm weak. I'm happy that I'm weak. I'm happy that I haven't spoken to my mother in more than a dozen weeks. I'm happy that I have no gas until I get paid. I'm happy I have no way to leave until 10 p.m. Thursday. I'm happy that the paycheck disappears anyway. I'm happy I'm the problem. And I'm happy that I refuse to solve them. I'm happy that I'm a piece of shit. I'm happy that I still can't get with love from a padded room out of my head. I'm happy that it makes me want to die. I am lying and I can't stop. If you know me, I exist in vagaries. I can't stop, so I'll leave you all alone. My family dies. I don't know how to end this, so I'm just done. Heartless tears. I'm the one who has to pay, so fuck you. I've spent my whole life pretending I care, but I don't even notice enough to care. My mom keeps calling me, begging for $20. Maybe she's deaf, or maybe she can't read, but every time it's, fuck you. It's not me. I promise that I mean well, but I also promise that I won't do well. I've become the epitome of what I hide from. I know it now. Anything that happens to you, you deserve it. Put down the bat and pick up the feather. I'm grateful because it's better than not being grateful anymore. Self-pity is the opposite of gratitude. I'm no longer proud, but I don't know how to stop hating it all. Hating myself, hanging myself on thin rafters. Everything seems so far away until you look up and commit. You can be different. You can be better. You are want to be, you are what you want to be. You just have to buff out the details. Flush out what we failed to achieve. And it is we, not you and me. All these dreams are nightmares. They're haunting me and haunting us. We see it, but can't walk toward rebuilding or waking up. We both have had enough. I know our lives will be rough, but I'll be alone and I will finally be enough for my boy and for no one else. It's done and I'll move on with that. We don't need the stress. We don't need to continue making a mess. I loved you, I'm sorry, and I leave you to happiness. It's taking so much time to change my thoughts of you from hate to disdain, from disdain to appreciation, and I'm still waiting. How much time is time enough, and when does it become wasted? Perhaps we could get a little back if we slowed down and embraced it. This weight is excessive. But what is excess but a measure of patience, humility, and being gracious? Every morning in the mirror, I see different faces. I'm unrecognizable, and I hate this. My family, myself included, has always been destined to rot. The birds don't even fly south this year. They just stayed here, those fucking idiots. <laughs> I used to watch them flock, and I loved watching them come back. Now they're scattered and traditions have rotted. If I'd had known 
that I'd turn into shit and always be shit, I would have been shit earlier. Maybe drank some hooker spit. Instead, I'm right here, weightless, suffering with sickness that everyone should run from. I've become what I'm terrified from, a crippling alcoholic, deathly illness ridden, drug abusive, absent minded, deadhead. Whatever you have is what you turn into. I wish it was my time to die now. I have no one else to lose. I'm so tired of looking through these lenses. All the floating dots are driving me fucking insane. Is it frowned upon to be so angry that you can't kill yourself? I don't know why I'm here. I don't know how I got here to the point of being here. I guess I'm sick of living alone, without a home, washing all my clothes in a bucket on the bathroom floor. Fuck it all! I'm going to sleep now for the rest of my life, and I'm so angry about waking up every day. It's time to part ways, myself and I, to make myself alive again. I must accept who I am, forget who I am, forgive who I am, so I won't want to die again. This is goodbye to myself. I'm ready to love everyone again, harbor acceptance, be different than this. I used to believe in you. I used to love you. But it's time to realign, so goodbye. Thank you.